This is Express Radio. Yo, DJ Punk, this party. New term. Why not try something new? Start your journey with Cardiff Societies with Express Radio and CUTV. Society Insights. Society Insights. Freshers 2020 with Express Radio. Society Insights. Hello and welcome back to Society Insights with me, Angus Mitchell, on behalf of Express Radio and CUTV. And today we are joined by Emma Chubb. Emma, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Great. And Emma, am I correct in saying you are the the, the chief, the head of say Cybe? So it's Cybe, right. like good vibes. Good vibes, Cybe. I love that. And did you say it's a Welsh word? So yeah, it's a Welsh word and it means rest slash pause, which ties into oh. our project, which we'll get into. Well, yeah. Well, that's, well, I think that's perfect. Why don't we get into it? What does Cybe mean? Um, so it's, it's a new volunteering project um, and we're going to be sending student volunteers into secondary schools in Cardiff to deliver workshops on mental health and well-being. Um, so we chose the name Cybe because it rest slash pause. It kind of just insinuates that thing where just take a break. Oh, no, definitely. And I think especially with the current climate, I think everyone's mental health has taken a knock. I know mine certainly has. And when you told me about the project, I instantly wanted to talk to you because it sounds so interesting. Um, and you said you said it's new this year. Yep. So we are basing it on um, Sex Expression, which is another Cardiff society. Um, they've been running for like over 10 years now, maybe 20 years. Um, so we know that the model works of kind of having student volunteers, training them, going in to schools. Um, and it's really effective. So they, Sex Expression, do relationships and sex education. Um, so we've just kind of taken that and we're doing mental health and wellbeing workshops. So we've got three schools on board at the moment. Um, depending on how many volunteers we get, we can have more or we yeah. can concentrate on those three schools and have more workshops. Um, so we've got Glantav, which is a Welsh speaking school, um, Stanwell, which is English speaking school and Plasmaur, another Welsh speaking school. Okay. Um, so yeah, they're, they're on board. They're really excited about the project. Um, I've been to Glantav twice this week to pilot sessions. Oh, great. So I went in and taught um, about change to Year 7s, which was really lovely. They, um, yeah. Obviously, they were coming into, into secondary yeah, school. Yeah, it's so tough for them at the moment. In. Yeah, so that was a really helpful lesson and they really engaged with it. Um, if someone did want to get involved, how would they go about doing that? Okay, so um, we say that you have to purchase a free membership on um, the Cybe volunteering page. So if you go to Cardiff Students Union, um, just type in the search bar Cybe, S-A-I-B. Yep. Um, that'll take you to our page. If you just scroll down to the bottom, apply for the project, that'll be- let you become a member. That will just give us your kind of contact information. Um, and then you will have to submit a formal application, which will be emailed to you. Um, and it's just a few questions, like some screening, so like yeah. a little scenario based on safeguarding stuff um, of course accepted you'll need an enhanced dbs which we can get in contact with um then you'll attend training and then you'll be ready to volunteer and so these sessions can you like give me a kind of like general idea of what someone would actually do at these sessions with the kids yeah so you go to the session um all transport is um like all transport costs are covered oh, great. Um, they're probably getting the train up i've been getting to the train to glantav um, you go into the school, class comes in, so the classes of about 30. Um, we might possibly do some assemblies or might do smaller groups with higher risk students with kind of the, the, the school is kind of flagged as being high risk in terms of mental health and safety. In terms of mental, yeah, okay. Yeah, um, and you just kind of deliver the lessons. So they're quite interactive, um, quite informal. We we kind of think that the, the workshops are best run with two to three volunteers just so yeah. you can, have enough to keep an eye on everyone. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just so we're not throwing someone into, <laughs> into the deep end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we will have kind of a shadow volunteer slot um, okay. that we can sign up to, and they, there will be no obligation for them to even talk to the class. They can just just be there to witness it. Yeah. Absorb everything that's going on. Yeah, because I, I can imagine, because we are always told um, with mental health, just speaking about your own. St- experience just speaking about stuff and listening just helps anyway so i can imagine this is that one of these kind of volunteering opportunities that yes you're giving so much as you would expect from a volunteering opportunity but also what you're talking about can actually be so beneficial to yourself as well yeah definitely um i really think that there will be a benefit to not only the the pupils receiving the work of course but the volunteers giving them um i think it could be really difficult when you're struggling with your own mental health to kind of do anything about it and yeah. this is like an easy way to kind of gain autonomy over 
kind of your own struggles and be like, I'm turning it into something good and I'm using my own experience to educate younger people and provide yeah. advice for people who need it. And I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to kind of create this really nice community of volunteers that are all really passionate about well-being. Yeah. And it, I'm just hoping it's going to be this really safe space for, for people and students to kind of join. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah. And um, in terms of, say, social media, um, is there a page you have at the moment promoting stuff uh, that you want to talk about now? Yep. So we've got um, an Instagram page, which our social media officer, Jess, has been absolutely smashing. So on there, we've been posting a lot of like educational resources, um, a lot of kind of exploring how mental health has been affected by COVID. Um, okay kind of um blm stuff as well because that's something that we definitely support um and now at the moment we're just pushing for kind of recruitment but you yeah know, when we've got all our volunteers we'll go back to kind of posting educational things so it's something that the pupils can kind of follow yeah they of course. gain stuff and then also the volunteers can kind of learn about mental health and well-being so we definitely will be encouraging people even if they don't like the idea of volunteering because i know it's not everyone's cup of tea yeah to go into a school and kind of have to present some of these things. <laughs> yeah. um, but we definitely want people to kind of follow our socials and stay up to date with what we're doing because if people want to maybe develop the workshops kind of do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff if they kind of are following our social media we can put out kind of requests and be like does anybody want to get involved in developing a new workshop um, and that's something that they can do like quite independently um, without having to go and present to a class. Yeah. Um, so that's on Instagram is that correct? Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, it's Side Cymru Project. Okay. Um, we've got Twitter, which is Side Cymru. Um, generally, if you just search Side. It's a great name. I, I really rate the name. Now I can say it correctly. So Emma, we talked about the kind of general gist of the society and how to get involved. Are there any events coming up that, to look forward to? Yep, so we've been running um, some Give It A Go events. Uh, we've been running one of the workshops that we'll be delivering to sixth form students. Um, so it's kind of focusing on supporting someone else's mental health. Um, and the kind of main event that we've got is a presentation and a QA. and a um, So that's where we'll be giving all of the information about the society project that you could possibly need. Um, so that's Sunday the 11th, uh, it's 2 p.m. Um, you can get tickets for that on the Cardiff Students website. And um, I just wanted to finish off, as we do on Society Insights, are there three, uh, pretend I have no idea what's going on, okay, I have no idea about Saib. What are three reasons why I should join Saib? Number one, you get to meet new people actually face to face. None of that Zoom rubbish, actually human being faces. Number two, you get to tackle mental health stigma and deliver that to children. And number three, just do it. <laughs> just do it. I love that. You know what? Just do it. No questions asked. Just do it. As simple as that. No, Emma, that's been, that's, that's perfect. Um, this has been Society Insights with me, Angus Mitchell, and Emma Chubb. Thanks for listening and watching.